Hey guys, let me ask you few basic questions around the state machine to check your understanding. Okay, so are you ready? You must have gone through the state machines. These are the three activities. You must have gone through the different sections that it has. So let me ask you few questions and see if you really remember those things. If not, you have to revisit the topic. The very first question in front of you: State machine activities should be contained within which container? Okay, read the question carefully. State machine activity should be contained within which container? Can I directly add any state machine activities inside a flowchart? Can I drag and drop a sequence, right? And within the sequence, can I directly put a state machine activity, or do I need to use state machine? There is a workflow called state machine. Do I need to use it, or I have to go with global exception? What is the right answer? Type your right answer. So the right answer is this one. Okay. state machine this is the right answer what do i mean by this just to help you with the understanding if you are dragging and dropping a sequence right i'm just trying to help you in terms of your understanding so if you drag and drop a sequence will i be able to directly add any state activity state machine activity for example if i want to drag state will it allow me no i cannot so how it should be done is first you should have the state machine container the question is is about container and within the container you can go ahead and add it okay that is the answer okay let me ask you the second question the second question is a developer is using state machine is the sentence true look at the sentence at least one state and one or more final states can be used this is the question okay at least one state this is activity state and final state is another activity so there are three activities you should remember carefully don't get confused state final state and this is the container state machine state and final state these are the actual two activities okay so here the question is what is true at least one state activity and one or more final states activity can be used is it right or wrong it, it is actually right so if you see i am inside the i am inside the state machine now in the state can i directly only have a final state it will not work right you should have at least a starting state so i have to use a state activity at least one activity and then i can have multiple final states okay very uh, this is all about your understanding okay so you can see it is uh, allowing me so i can put different condition to go to different different states right so you can have multiple final states there is no limit depending on the condition i can have multiple different final states right so uh, remember at least one state and multiple final states can be used okay let's move on to our third question so this is all about your understanding okay if you don't have an understanding you might get confused in the exam let me ask you third question how many sections does the final state activity contains pretty simple okay does it contain entry exit sections you understand right entry exit okay or exit entry or entry and exit without transition which is the right answer see all of us know it but during the exam we might get confused okay so entry very simple questions we should not lose marks right so what is the answer for the final state always remember inside a final state what is the section that we have only entry section okay only entry section many people will go for this exit or they might even go for this entry and exit without runs okay it's more appealing right so remember it is only having entry so answer is a okay always do a bit of you know, that's why before going for the exam you should have a clear you know you should do a bit of practice on your uap studio so that everything that you know you should be able to recall right in the exam you have to quickly recall otherwise there is no use you might be knowing but again you will choose a wrong answer from the exam perspective you should have a quick look and remember everything's properly and then appear for the exam so likewise see i am framing my own questions okay just looking at how it functions i am framing few questions so that way it is going to help you while you are preparing also you frame your questions what kind of questions could come right at least your understanding should be there so that any question comes you should get an understanding and should be able to choose the right answer So thank you guys let's move on to our next topic